Welcome to Let's Discover India. On the ninth day of our trip to Leh, Ladakh and Manali, we started from this part towards Manali at around 9 am. Manali is just 93 kilometers from this part. We are completely in a different world now in Himachal Pradesh. After 8 days of traversing Ladakh's arid landscapes and being enveloped by snow-capped peaks, our eyes reveled in the unexpected delight of Himachal's lush greenery. For those who want a peaceful retreat in Himalayas away from the crowd of Manali, this spa is the right place to be in. This spa is a beautiful place surrounded by lush green mountains and snow-capped peaks together. There were some popular tourist points on the way to Manali like the Chandrabhaga Sangam, Sisu Waterfalls and the Solang Valley. After viewing the spectacles in Ladakh, these viewpoints didn't really excite us. So we just had a peek through the window and pressed forward. After traveling around 70 kilometers from our hotel in Jispa, we arrive at the famous Atal Tunnel near Manali. Atal Tunnel is a marvel of engineering that pierces through the mighty Himalayas, connecting Manali to Keelong and beyond. This engineering marvel is 9 kilometers long, built at an elevation of staggering 3,100 meters, which is approximately 10,171 feet above the sea level. Previously, the route from Manali to Keelong via Gramfu was 116 kilometer journey that took 5 to 6 hours. Now. Thanks to Atal Tunnel, the distance has shrunk to 71 kilometers, covered in just two hours. Manali is 30 minutes from Atal Tunnel. Manali is much greener than Jispa as the snowfall is less during summer. We booked our accommodation in Old Manali at Hadimba Cottage. Hadimba Cottage in Manali is a delightful retreat nestled amidst the scenic beauty of Himachal Pradesh. These cozy cottages are named after Manali's famous Hadimba temple and are surrounded by enchanting Devdar wood. If you seek privacy and a touch of solitude, Hadima Cottages are an ideal choice. Each cottage is well equipped with a kitchenette, fridge, heater and a TV. Some cottages offer a beautiful view of the surrounding mountains. There is a small room on antechamber where you can sit and gaze out followed by a kitchen, a bedroom, and a bathroom. The front porch provides a perfect spot for enjoying the views or being surrounded by flowers.
the sheer variety of colors of rose flowers, crimson, blush pink, sunny yellow, paints a vibrant canvas. But the size of those flowers really left in awe. The day was lazy as it rained and we preferred to spend indoors, taking a nap and enjoyed the rain through the window. The rain danced a liquid ballet, each drop curling on flowers and tapping on glass. As the evening skies cleared, the rain's gentle patter ceased, we embarked on a leisurely stroll towards the Hadimba temple, just a mere 400 meter from our cozy Hadimba cottage. As we stepped through the gates, a kind lady offered Tulsi the chance to cradle a fluffy bunny in her arms for a mere 30 rupees. Hadimba Devi Temple is an ancient cave temple built around a massive rock jutting out of the ground, an image worshipped as Hadimba Devi, the deity herself. The temple is embraced by the serene Devadar forest of Dhungri Van Vihar at the foot of the Himalayas. The temple's intricately carved wooden doors lead to a 24 meter tall wooden shikhar. The tower comprises three square roofs covered with timber tiles crowned by a brass cone shaped roof at the top. Carvings on the main door depict the earth goddess Durga along with animals, dancers, scenes from Lord Krishna's life and the Navagrahas. Since Hadimba hailed from Rakshasa lineage, the gateway of the temple bore the wooden carvings of skulls, skeletons and other eerie motifs. The temple was very crowded. People have come from distant places. There was plenty of buzz in the queue with devotees chanting Jai Matadi. There were plenty of activities outside the temple as well. On one hand, people were busy taking their selfies and photographs in front of the temple, while some of the ladies and couples were busy trying pahadi outfits the outfits of the mountain people. Children on the other hand were having their own fun. There were these women who were selling fresh cherries and strawberries. We then moved towards the shrine of Ghatochkach, the brave son of Hadimba. As we walked along, we stumbled upon a soulful scene, a man seated by the roadside playing an instrument, sarangi perhaps, and singing a soulful bhajan. Moving further, we came across these beautiful yaks brought from Ladakh. Kids were enjoying their ride. After walking around 200 meters from Hadimba temple, we came to the Ghatochkach shrine. 
Ghatotkar is the mystical warrior born from the union of Bhima and Hadimba Devi. The ancient temple reveres Ghatotkar by representing him as a tree, a living embodiment of the devotion and eco spirituality. Worshipping here feels like touching ancient truths and timeless stories. Thanks for watching. Let's discover India.